nothing I do, I do alone. I, I don't do things, uh, you know, unilaterally. Um, in fact, it's, it's usually with lots of suggestions and lots of uh, discussion and uh, maybe maybe too much discussion from if you talk to other folks in California or some of my own council, but, you know, we, we get there. We want to make sure everybody's had their say. So, but um, I, I, it's truly meaningful uh, in, in my heart that, that my wife and our daughter can stand here with me and share this moment because uh, it, it's, it's been a lot of work over the last 30 years getting here. And so uh, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. And uh, thank you for everything we've done to, to get here. And the next two years are going to be a challenge, so we're all, we're all on, this, on this bus for a ride, aren't we? Okay, so thank you. So as I was beginning to say, um, NCAI, you gave me the vote yesterday. You gave me your confidence. And uh, in return, um, I'm going to give you my service. I'm going to give you my dedication and loyalty. And not just to you, tribal leaders and delegates that are here in the room. Um, you represent the people, you represent the tribal community, and I, I'm dedicating myself to Indian country. Now, we've had some tough discussions this week. We need to do some healing. We need to create a way to move forward together. And uh, as I stand here right now, I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, as I've already uh, mentioned, I, 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 my style is to work toward um, a solution that involves the opportunity for everybody's voice and participation, entertaining suggestions, and all of that along the way. As a political body and as a Congress, I know that, you know, that's, that's, that's what we do. We have debates. They're not always easy. Sometimes they're tough. But here's the thing, you know, as we, as we conclude an issue, we have to remember that when we head out the door, we need to do so in a unified manner. We leave those debates in the room. We walk out together as Indian people, as relatives here in Indian country together, because Lord knows there's enough, uh, there are enough forces pointed at us, ready to come at us. And the best way to, to push back on them and uh, make up the advances we need to make is to, uh, is to do that together. So that's what I intend to do. Um, I want to note that uh, we did, during the proceedings in the last hour or so, um, had convened a quick huddle of uh, NCI uh, officers and executive committee members. And um, I wanted to already plot out the next few weeks between now and, and February, the executive council winter session. Um, and what that includes is that uh, us, Four officers uh, will be meeting probably the, in two weeks, the week after the holiday. We will be meeting in Washington, D.C., in NCAI offices, and we are going to uh, set the frame for the next two years. And we will be meeting with our, our key staff, Larry, and everybody else. And then uh, either the week of the uh, Tribal Nation Summit or the week after, uh, our plan is to is to convene them as an executive committee, that's the Sweet 16 plus four officers, and continue that work. Um, and, and at that point, um, begin to prioritize the issues that, that need immediate addressing. Uh, so, and then about a month, then we have to get through the holidays. That's always a struggle for uh, calendar space. Uh, sometime about mid-January or so, don't know dates yet, um, I'm looking forward to convening again the executive, uh, executive committee uh, to meet and continue the discussion on, on prioritization of issues, but also uh, to do a strategic planning session. And all that is to say, before we go into the executive council winter session, all that is to say that I want us to hit the ground running on being in Washington, D.C., where our voice needs to rise to prominence again, and we need to get the job done. As I said uh, previously this week, there's a reason we are all here. Um, the difficult discussions we've had are going to require some heartfelt uh, 
solutions, and we are going to need to find a way, the best way to heal and move together forward. And so uh, that will be, that's something we will be working on between now and the Executive Council Winter Session, um, and we will bring those solutions to you and uh, find the best way for doing that. You know, as, as Native communities, Indigenous people, we have, we have many customs for when um, there are disagreements and settling disputes and things like that. That kind of wisdom that we have, you know, even in this room with lots of folks who've already left, left town as tribal leaders here, you know, you've been in office 10 years, you've been in office 20 years, 15, and if you add that all up, I, I think I, under, I underestimated that the other day where I said there's hundreds of years of experience amongst our tribal leaders and delegates here, just among us that are alive and holding office representing our communities at NCI. There's likely a, a few thousand years of experience of all of us that were in the room. By the way, Larry, I don't know where you are, but I think you told me this morning that we had 207, 270 uh, tribal nations in our organization this week registered here. Is that correct? If you could just answer that or confirm it. Yes? 270. Okay, so that is a significant jump from where we've been, from where we were uh, a year ago and even two years ago. We need to find a way to stay together and, and do our best for all of us for Indian Country. And so that's our goal. I mentioned it. for every challenge, there's an opportunity in, in that challenge. And so we have those opportunities right now in front of us. And but we will do this. I think in closing, I want to say that sometimes folks will look at a problem and say, how are we going to get there? How on earth are we going to accomplish this? Some people even say, no, this is just too hard. Too much energy. I'm not going to do it. For us, here's what we need to do. We need to, we have issues, we have problems that need solving. We need to see them as already solved. That, that is the first part of getting there. It's already solved. It's already been done. The thing for us is, we need to remember how we get there. So I'm, I am mixing the, the, the present and the past and the future all together in one. It's already solved as tribal communities, as, as relatives with one another. We need to remember what it is that, that will get us there and, and that is how we will solve what needs to be done. So I am hopeful because I know who we are as Indian people. I know how we are as tribal communities, tribal nations. And I know that we step up when, when we need to. Our people expect it. That's why you're here. That's why they elected you to do this. And we're going to do this together. So let's proceed. Let's get this done. And I'll see you in Washington, D.C. sooner than you think. So thank you very much for lending me your confidence and support. And let's go, NCAA. Let's get this done. Thank you very much.